Hey everybody, Kyle from Black Mountain All Terrain. Today we're going to be installing seat covers on the rear seat of an 825 S4. Only one tool required for this one. And it's going to be a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. Rotate the seat base forward like this. And it gives you access to the four bolts on the underside of the seat base. Take your Allen wrench and loosen them. So I've gotten those four loosened. Remember, save your hardware because you're going to reuse it again when you reinstall the seat base. Go ahead and rotate it back into position. And now these grab handles are loose and just pull them out a little bit. Don't take them all the way out. You can, just makes it a little harder later. So just pull them out a little bit and come back to the other side. Pull the grab handle out on this side just a little bit. Now, seat base just comes right off. Take these straps, the Velcro straps, and just separate them like this. Go ahead and take it and start from that side of the seat. You can even stand it up if you want like this. And just kind of place it over the seat itself. Tuck that under. Lay it down and pull it around. This last corner is usually a little harder because it's kind of tight. It's not too bad. Once you have it basically in place, take your straps, pull them together, and just tighten that Velcro down against itself. Let's look at it and see. That's a pretty good shot for the first try. It usually doesn't happen that way. Uh, sometimes you got to kind of rotate it around to work out some wrinkles. That's normal. Don't be afraid to tug on these a little bit. This is strong fabric. You're not going to tear it. But it looks pretty good. Okay, now let's take the seat base and just place it right back where we got it. It'll feel pretty snug. Take these handles and push them back in. And you may need to move the seat base around a little bit. Push that in. Now let me go to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing over there. Again, position the base. And push the handles in place. And now it's secured in place with the handles and I can rotate it like this and put the screws back in. Put your washer plate on. Get your screws started by hand. Washer plates on. Okay, those are tightened. It's ready, ready to go. So I just rotate it back in place and done. Super simple. All right. Now let's do the seat back. This one's actually even easier than the seat base because it doesn't require any tools. So grab your seat cover. And I like to open the bed because it makes it a little easier to get access to the rear of the seat, ba uh, the seat back. Just open that up. Take our seat cover here, unzip it. 
undo the Velcro. And pull it down over the seat back. One thing I'll point out, when you're doing the rear seat, there's a piece of the vehicle that sticks up behind the seat and you want to be sure that you don't cover that with the seat cover. So when you put it on, you want to reach back here and make sure that it goes between the seat and this piece of the vehicle. So once that's in place, you have it basically positioned on your seat. Take your zipper, pull down. There you go. Now just take your Velcro on the underneath side from the front to the rear, tuck it in. And that's it. So this wraps up our installation for today. If you have any questions, if you have any problems, please call us or email us. You can find that information on our website, blackmountainat.com. That's why you bought an American-made product, so that if you have questions, you can call the people who made it for you. Uh, also, subscribe to us on YouTube, and you'll see all the new videos that come out as we launch new products or do other installation videos. And uh, thanks again.